like no this cannot happen again <laughs> wow i am officially in my new flat ah! i'm in my new place in my new place oh gosh i need to find the kettle <laughs> i need to find the kettle some tea bags beautiful people welcome back to this girl's insights where you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle in each of my videos i share my insights my journey my life with you y'all it is moving day like all of that stuff needs to move today um <laughs> the, the funny thing is i don't know if the lighting is going to be good in this video right now let me just give you an fyi because there is currently no electricity in my house and what i might do is i might i might do a separate video about why i decided to move out and all of the drama but you know when it's kind of like in case you were in case you were questioning whether you should move or not this is a reminder about why you're moving because and again if you're not nigerian you might not get this or if you're not west african you might not get this but basically i have been experiencing nepa in this house i don't know how else to say it and by that i mean um every so often the electricity just goes because there have been issues with the landlord paying the bills but that's a different conversation so maybe i'll do a separate video on that your comment below if you let me if you wanted to do a story time about why i decided to move because there are so many many reasons um anyways yeah it is moving day i am currently sat with my scarf trying to stay warm um so the van is running late so there was an accident somewhere and the van's running behind but then he's texted me so hopefully it shouldn't be too long it might be about an hour late or maybe an hour and a half which is not ideal but you know i guess if there's been an accident there's not much i can do about that fyi in case you guys remember because when he said he was running late i instantly remember the last time i moved and yo i will leave an eye somewhere to that video in case you haven't seen it um but yeah my flashback was this cannot happen again. I am not willing to go through this again. But this time around, I have gone with a different company. Um, I have gone with Compare Man and Van or Compare the Man and Van. And I'm just hoping for a smooth move. Um, I'm slightly annoyed that it's slightly delayed, but you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, basically, I just came to say hi and to say it's moving day, moving day, moving day. Yep, yep. I'm also really like I ordered a lot a lot oh wow yo the lighting is horrendous I'm so sorry um let me see if I can oh this is better much better oh yeah um but yeah um what am I trying to say <laughs> I've got so much stuff I don't I can't even begin to imagine how all of this stuff fit in this place um you know when you just don't realize how much stuff you have and I've ordered a la large van and I really hope everything fits in there like that is the like i am not willing to find out like a part of me is actually i have ordered like a massive truck for like a three bedroom flat but no they said one bedroom flat this is a studio flat it should be fine um and i'm not even moving the bed yo well, as i am waiting on this van like i am trying not to flash back to be fair i'm not even okay it's only like 15 minutes late right now but i don't know if you were around when i did the any van review video basically when i moved from my last place to this flat and how i basically spent the whole day waiting and all of that drama like now as i'm waiting for the van i'm like flashbacking and i'm like no this cannot happen again i am not willing i am so not willing to go through this again and to be waiting for like six hours so i'm hoping like this van guy does actually get here pretty quickly as well um yeah like this time i went for a different company so last time i used any van in case y'all don't know if you haven't watched the video i would never recommend them ever unless if you're moving like one thing if you're moving like one thing like one large item maybe but then i would never recommend them for a house move um this time around i have gone with compare man and van i think that's the name and like they gave me like a discount offer like i could see like it's basically like a comparison site so i could see all the different drivers and then when i saw all the different drivers i could see all the reviews i picked the one with like ridiculously good reviews now unfortunately that driver had to cancel but basically they just texted me like compare man and van fully just texted me and were like sorry your drivers had to cancel but don't worry we found you another good driver who'll be arriving at the same time obviously he's not arriving at the same time because of this accident and he's now running late um but they were just kind of like, they basically just sorted it all out. And when I then went back to check the driver's reviews, like it had really good reviews. Um, I'm not sure if I wanted to change, I would have been able to change. But then I feel like I would have. Because even this morning, 
an hour before my driver was meant to get here they texted me and they were like um your driver should be there in an hour if there are any issues please call us like the customer service so far has been amazing like the only issue is the fact that the driver is running late and i guess he can't like he can control he can't control if there's an accident or something like that oh the neighbor's dog is in the garden and the neighbor's in the garden i'm gonna stop staring because he's in his robe that's slightly weird <laughs> But yeah, y'all, um, I guess I'm just basically waiting. Oh, y'all, I actually forgot to say, I do have like a discount code if you want to try Compare Man and Van. So if you are moving and you just want to check out their website, see what like, you know, their prices are like for you. For me, it was actually really reasonable. Um, but then what I'll do is, I can't remember what the discount code is. Um, I will put it on the screen as well. Sorry, like my brain is in moving space. I can't actually remember what the discount code was. I will double check. And I'll probably confirm later on in this video. But it will be in the description box anyways if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah. Moving day, it's moving day. Oh, 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 oh. It's moving day. Yo, I don't think I've ever shown you my view. I, actually, you can't see it that properly in daytime. But you can basically see all of London. Because whenever I try and show you guys, I used to have like my curtains in here. And you can't really see through the curtains and I guess I've never been bothered to open it. And you can't really tell because the weather is a bit rubbish. Like if you've seen me going on walks with my Insta stories, you should kind of know. I'm trying to see what. But yeah, you can basically see, if you can see that skyline at, at night, you can basically see all the light across London. Oh yeah, okay, I guess I'm going to just go kill some time. Maybe call my sister. <laughs> and while I was talking to my sister, um, I actually decided to take her part my Ikea Dumbass wardrobe um and y'all I was losing stuff like it was a whole situation y'all oh no where did it drop where is it oh gosh this is actually a joke <laughs> y'all I just dropped all my nail polish on the floor not even in the mood for this right now at all basically I'm trying to disassemble I'm trying to disassemble or t I don't know I'm trying to take apart this Ikea wardrobe to save time for when the man and van gets here because with the company I went with, there, you're actually able to pay for like assembly and disassembly and all that kind of stuff. Y'all, I am so sorry. I get that the lighting is horrendous as well, but you know, what can a sister do? Let me look, put this down and I have to find, you know, what do they call that thing? An Allen, the Allen screw, I've dropped it and I can't find my other one. Oh, my other one is in here. I was checking the wrong screw box. Please let it be in here. perfect it's in here hopefully that i can find the right size um okay we about to get this done guys by the way um it's worth mentioning that i'm still talking to my sister at this stage like it just helped pass time because you know we'd be laughing though what's interesting is i didn't realize my accent changed when i talked to my family um to be fair it's one of those things where i've paid for assembly and disassembly so if the guy knows how to do it he can come and do it and put it back together. Okay, let me put the nails back in. I'm just annoyed because I've like wasted time now. Okay, y'all. Um, it is three hours later. <laughs> I am still here. I've just been moving stuff around, so the room actually looks messier than it is now. Um, he's now coming up on three hours late, so I am obviously very annoyed. Um, but again, I guess an accident is an accident. There are very little things you can do to control that. I just hope the rest of the moves goes perfectly smoothly the driver said it should be here in a few minutes hence the impromptu face mask basically i couldn't find like i don't know where people have been buying face masks so all i did was i just basically took like a clean like literally a very clean one literally just came out of the pack a clean cloth and then i just used it i don't know if y'all can see but i used like a hairband to just tie it at the back so this is how i guess i made my own face mask and obviously I've got like gloves and everything. I just want to make sure that, you know, taking all the precautions and all that good stuff. So get used to this look. the bags 
and the furniture is not going to fit in the room. So I'm going to have to start putting stuff in here. And I'll have to just work it out later on. Talk about a change of plans, y'all. Change of plans. Um, there's definitely not going to be an empty flat tour. I was thinking of trying to do an empty flat tour if I put everything in one room. That is not happening. But yeah, y'all can see the... If y'all can see that door over there, that's the bedroom. And the moving plan was to put everything in the bedroom so I had time to clean all the other spaces again. And to be fair, the space was clean. Like, professional cleaners have come in. Like, it's been, like, it's been sprayed, all the sprayed. It's been... I can't even speak. I'm so tired, guys. It is 5.35. And once again... I have not eaten today and you know when you say something often enough and I'm starting to realize the problem is me I need to remember to eat um but what was I saying yeah so I was to put everything in that room so this room would be empty so the kitchen would be empty so I could basically wipe everything down again just because I like to do that obviously all the stuff did not fit in that room um so I've had to move things here so I feel like now I'm gonna have to put together my furniture and then probably clean around it and do a deep clean with my furniture in there um but i don't know if y'all can see like literally it's like it's been cleaned um so i'm not really i'm not really worried about it from a 19 point of view it's just because i just like the good news though is i did disinfect and wipe down the bedroom floor before i put anything in there so that one was disinfected um so now it is 5 35 um the move took so the guy turned up around two o'clock so he was three hours late and but he was very apologetic all that stuff and it was very helpful then we actually would have been done earlier on but then because i was meeting the landlord i need to take this off what was i saying oh yeah so because i because i was meeting the landlord we ended up spending a half hour doing signing stuff him showing me the boiler all that kind of stuff so that's why i ended up taking three and a half hours um so yeah, like apart from the fact that I couldn't fit anything into everything into one room and annoyingly enough, I think we might have damaged my IKEA cupboard. Basically, the stairs to come up this place like is really narrow, like super narrow. So we had to take apart some more parts um, to basically get it up the stairs because we couldn't even turn. So you know in Friends, they like pivot, P there was no, there's no pivot. It's basically like this. And, then, and so we couldn't pivot um so i'm hoping i need to think about it i'm hoping i can save the structure i'm hoping it's structurally sound and i just have to refurbish it or whatever like you know i'm annoyed but also i'm excited for a new diy project um but yeah y'all i am officially wow i am officially in my new flat ah! yeah okay i'm gonna give you a crowded flat tour um, so this actually is pretty good the bathroom, there's nothing in here. Can I just show y'all the shower heads? Do you see these babies? Two shower heads. The bathroom's actually pretty nice. You've got the loo, business place, sink, hand wash at the ready. And obviously mirror or cabinet mirror. So yeah, this isn't an empty flat tour. It's more of a <laughs> crowded flat tour, but empty bathroom at least. And then we've got here which is all the kitchen area. You can't really see all the kitchen area because of there's so much stuff in it. And then it's kind of kitchen slash dining or kitchen slash living area. So it's a, that's what I mean by it's a... I don't think I said it. So even though it's like technically a one bed, it's very compact. So it's like a... It's like a studio where the bedroom is separate. Oh! Okay. So all the stuff in here. And then you've got the bedroom... And just, again, y'all can't see. It's just stuff in there. Um, I think I've got some footage of the empty bedroom. So I might just put that in there. But it's literally just walls on a floor. And then as you come into the room, um, as you can see, I've just wiped down the floors. We've got the window over there. And it's a bit of an interesting shape. I'm not sure what I'm going to put over there. So yeah, I think my first thing is, oh gosh, I need to find the kettle. <laughs> you know, I need to find the kettle and some tea bags. I need to eat some food. And then I need to just tackle all of this um i'm trying to figure out if i should end this vlog um I, I if this is the end of the vlog please subscribe actually even if it's not the end of the vlog you know subscribe like comment share all that good stuff um 
help me figure out what to do with my kit. Let, let me show you what I mean by we damaged Ikea cupboard. So this, I can put the nails back in. That's not an issue. I think it's just, I just have to figure out what in the living daylight I do. Um, and now I'm just wishing I just left it at my old place and just bought a new cupboard. Cupboard, wardrobe, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, I need to eat and then figure out everything. And then I actually want to wipe down because all my furniture is now dirty from the van. So I need to wipe down all my furniture before I put it all together or do anything with it. Anyways, y'all. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And the spirit of God be with you. If this is the end of the vlog. And if it is not the end of the vlog, I will literally still see you in one second. And as you can see, the vlog continues. Um, and I thought I'm just going to jump start with the cleaning. Well, actually, no, I had no choice because I had to put my food away before it all went off. So started with the fridge, I guess. I'm currently cleaning the clean fridge because apparently I don't have anything else to do in my time. I found the food um, and before I put the food in, I kind of just want to wipe down the... Ooh, that's icy. That's what happens when you wipe a freezer. So, yo, you know how I had a freezer to myself? This is my new freezer. So we're going to try and see how we're going to make this work. Um, I've got some chicken fillets that I feel like I'm probably going to let defrost and then cook it all in strips to use um, as and when. But I'm going to see if I can fit all my, because the most important thing is my, I guess my veg. I've got mixed veg. This one as well. And then, is that my fish? Then the spinach. Um, I don't think I don't think anything else is gonna fit in there. Can I close that? Okay, I can close that. I've still got these. I guess I can let these defrost and cook them. know where anything is going right now but i've not got that long anyways because we have a prayer meeting at seven an online prayer meeting so i think i mentioned this in like one of my older videos my church is my church we have sunday service online and we have our prayer meetings and our bible study online so like every friday at 7 p.m we have like a 7 p.m prayer meeting so link will be in the bio if you want to check it out and all that good stuff um but yeah let me try and get stuff done before i then have to join the prayer meeting Oh yeah, progress. But yeah, I feel like I'm so tired. Most of this is gonna, most of the cleaning and unpacking is gonna wait till tomorrow now. Okay guys, um, okay. I'm whispering, you can't hear me, can you? Um, it is like gone eight o'clock. Um, I've got some spaghetti. Um, I feel like I'm really, actually no, it's just cause it's quick to cook. I'm not that into spaghetti recently. Um, I just haven't had spaghetti for like a, maybe like a year. And then suddenly I'm just like spaghetti. But it's just because that was the only pasta left in the store when I went, or something along those lines. Um, yeah, they didn't have no brown pasta. Let's not discuss this. Um, anyways, y'all. So the plan was to try and kind of sort out the bathroom and the living room area and just start getting things in place. Um, that's not about to happen. I started eating. I am tired. And that's it. So basically, I'm just gonna... I might do a separate unpack with me video, um, or a clean with me, or both. I'm not really sure. Um, but y'all stay subscribed. Press the bell so you know you get notifications whenever I put up a new video and all of that good stuff. Um, um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I am so glad I am finally in this place. Um, it has been a journey. And maybe I will do the story time where I kind of talk about 
why I had to move on all the drama. Um, if you do want to see that, leave a comment down below um, and I will get that done for you. Um, and yeah, thumbs up, share, all that good stuff. So I'm just going to say, you know, see you in the next video. God bless you. Jesus loves you. May this will of God be with you. Bye, guys. I'm in my new place. In my new place. I'm in my new place. I'm really tired though. Tired though. I'm feeling myself. I'm thinking I'm modern. I happen to Google Man and Van. This any van website comes up. I'm thinking this is almost like Uber. This is fashionable. This is useful. These people have suffered me. Hear my accent. They have suffered me. Ah.